Hi, so in the last few videos, I talked about setting up, uh, I walked you through setting up the environment for our Visual Studio. We created a database with tables and we added some data into it manually. And then we connected to the database with our database application. Now just to clarify, this form of ours is the database application. And this database application is connecting to our, our database management system here uh, and our data uh, which which allow, which retrieves the, the data and modifies the data when we ask it to if you look at the previous slides i'll just go back here this is what we're making so that project is this and where the users that uh, will be using it because it's our personal database system all right, so um, what I want to do in this next, let's just go through here in this, uh, what I want to do in this next video is we show you how to retrieve information from the databases. And what I'll do is um, I'll, I'll show you a site, a website, is w3schools.com forward slash SQL. And this is a great place, a great resource, a great reference where a great reference where you can have a look at how some examples of how to do things with SQL. And the one that we want to look at today is the select, the select command. So before I do that, SQL it's pretty much accessing a database. So this is a database table, and you can you know access, modify, delete, kind of what like what we do in Excel, right? Right, and what we want to do is we want to look at this select syntax. So the select syntax allows us to grab results from the table. So we want to pull information from the table, right? There, and there's a, the, uh, and the syntax is basically select something, some column, or all the columns from some particular table, and that's pretty much the syntax. Here's a real example. Let's say that this is the customer table. You go select customer name city so select the column these two columns customer name over here and city from this customers table and that's pretty much the syntax of sql it's pretty 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 self-explanatory pretty straightforward let's let's try it on our software what we want to do is we want to collect think uh collect from our table so in our table over here if i go to server explorer and right click and uh, I right click and go to view ta data um, let's collect all of this data let's just dump it all out let's let's do that and then obviously you don't want to do that when you're logging in you don't want people to see everyone else's login and password and anyway you shouldn't be saving pe people's password as text you should be hashing it but you know we, we haven't got that up there at that point all right so but just let's just do a dump let's 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 put a data grid view and just dump the information from that table just to see how this works so what we'll do is we'll go um, into our toolbox we'll put a data grid view in because this is this this works well with uh, data sets from our database data grid views it's a great thing and we'll call this data grid view D D G data grid view dump. This is our dumping ground, so if you if you will. All right, this is our dumping ground, if you will. And what we'll do is we'll uh, double click on our login button. Double click, our, double click on our login button, and we're going to create a, com a select command that will will send to our database management system so that it will give us the information we want. Let's do that. So um, the steps involved to create a command to send to the database is this. So first thing I like to do is I like to create, I just go create a command. I'll write a command equals to a, a SQL client, SQL, SQL client dot command, new command, new, why do I have two command? Create command, create command, create command, yeah, create command. All right, uh, so we create a command. So this is our, our command. And then we give this command a command text. Dot command text. All right, so, and this is where we put our select blah, blah, blah. 
Now, let's select. Let's select. And I like to use capitals. Don't have to. I like to use capital. Let's select log login ID. Capital. That's my naming convention is like this. That's why you should set your own naming convention and follow it. Uh, so we want to select login ID column from our well, what was our database called? It was called login details. So we want to select login login ID column from this. So let's select from login details, which is our table. All right. So this is our command, and then what we'll do is we'll we'll we'll, we'll need to SQL data adapter to to execute our command. So we'll go dim and we'll call this uh, SQL adapter adapt adapter uh, equals new SQL data adapter. Now I'm just letting you know I'm 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 really lazy with this programming really I should be explicitly saying going as you know SQL it's just actually bad programming practice not to write the data type for each of these and what's the data type of this one let's have a look SQL command so I'm just being lazy I shouldn't be I should put in all of it and teach you all the right way to write code so we should be data data type specific so these colors are data types this is the name of your of that particular data type and this is an object as well um, and then what we'll do is we'll uh, we'll give this ADP uh, this SQL adapter the command we created up the top there we'll give it the command select command the select command will give this command we made so we put the string in here and then we give it to this adapter and this adapter is going to do the magic for us right it's going to do the magic uh, and we need to and then we need to fill it somewhere we need to put this data somewhere so we're going to we're going to retrieve it from the database we're going to put it somewhere and what where we'll put it we'll put it into a data set so we'll just go now um, we'll call this, uh, we'll just call it our data as data set equals new data set. So data set is a structure, like a, like a kind of like a, think of it as a table, memory table in, in our software right now. So this is data in the database, but we're pulling it out of the database and chuckling into this, this table in our computer, in our, in our application, right? And then it's now as simple as SQL uh, uh, ADP dot fill will fill. Sorry, not ADP. This is our ad adapter SQL adapter, right? SQL adapter, and we'll fill will fill this data this data set here, which we call data. Right? All right. So let's do some comments. So. This one's establish a connection. Establish connection to database, which we did in the previous video. This one is creating our command for to send to the database. But we're not sending it yet. And then this is the magic. This is the magician right here. Um, this is the thing that will, um, this is the adapter here. So this will, uh, this adapter is uh, where we, we give the command to the adapter, adapter. And this is where the magic happens. We fill the data from the uh, select from that 
from the database into the data set. Data set. And now that we've filled it in, we can't see this. Right now it's in memory and we need to show it to the user. And remember how we have a, a data grid view? We just need to link this data set to the data grid view. And that's pretty straightforward. Um, it's just a simple DVG. What was our data grid's name? It was dump, wasn't it? Dump dot, it has a data source. Um, it has a data source um, member here that we can just use to link our data set to, which we call data. And when we now when when this adapter fills this particular this particular data set, there's going to be multiple tables in there. So we're going to access the tables, and we're going to access the first table because actually we only have one table here, but it could fill multiple tables. So this could be one, two, three, four, but right now those don't exist, only the zero exists, the first location exists. And I spelled that wrong. All right, now, that's it. This is this is a kind of binding, a linking, uh, give, and this is giving the data grid view, view, the data, data grid view, grid, grid, view, the data, from the data set that that the adapter field right so there's a number of steps going on here let's try that let's start it and let's just click login and see if it, we do a dump on it so so it's really not a login button it's a dump button and there you go so it dumped login id there all right now let's say we wanted the full dump um, what I could do is over here, I can go comma. I could go like comma and put in password as well and dump the login and the password. Right. And that will, that should then give me, if I click on it, I get the password as well. Right. If there's so many columns and you don't want to write every single column here, you can use the symbol star. Star will grab. Star means everything, basically all. Select all from. That's the way uh, you know I interpret it. Uh, so it doesn't matter how many columns you got. It will dump every single column with that star there from from this uh, this this. We'll just go log in, and then you can see it just dumps everything there, right? So star is useful. Star is a useful thing to do. Let's have a look at our time. 30 minutes. Um, so I've shown you how to ex um, extract the data. One, one more thing, this is extracting the data and shoving it into the table. You can actually, you don't have to, you know, you don't have to do this part. You don't have to put it into a table. You can just look at the data individually. Just want to show you how to do that. So you can go data.tables, zero, and then you can go um, uh, zero dot, I think it was row, and then you can like um, select like the first row and maybe the first column. What was it? Let's try to remember the syntax for that. Let me just pause for a bit. Yep. So that's a, that's the right syntax. Uh, and then we can say um, you know put into a variable just you know some kind of entry, uh, some kind of field. Right, and what we can do then is we could then console, I don't know, we'll message box out. Message box, uh, mess, uh, msg box, this field, whatever's in here. We'll have a look at what's in here. So um, so we're accessing the, the first table, which is really the only table there is, wrong language. And we're accessing the first row and the first column. I'm happy with uh, the this one because our our row, this is our row, this is our column. The column actually has a name. So we should go login ID as our column. Yep. I, sh I should fill the data set before I try to access it. All right, so that should be fine. So I'm looking at the first row and this column. What's in there? 